Hello everyone, and welcome to this quick and easy tutorial on customizing vehicle identification plates for your favorite faction. In this 2 minute and 30 second tutorial, I'll walk you through the process step by step, using the user-friendly Tinkercad platform. To get started, you'll need your faction logo in SVG format. So let's dive right in. Begin by importing the neutral identification plate, which I've conveniently named ID. It's the perfect canvas for adding your faction's logo. Next, import your faction's logo into the workspace. Make sure to adjust the logo's width to 15mm, which is the ideal size for most vehicle identification plates. Don't worry about the height just yet. We'll get to that in a moment. Now, let's fine-tune the height of your logo to fit perfectly on the ID plate. You can do this by clicking and dragging the logo until it's at the desired height. Tinkercad's intuitive interface makes this process a breeze. While customizing your vehicle ID plates is straightforward, I should note that personalizing doors is a bit more complex in Tinkercad. But don't worry, I've got you covered. You can download a set of compatible faction-specific doors for free using the link I've provided below this video. Once you're satisfied with your customized vehicle ID plate, it's time to export your design as an STL file. This format is compatible with most 3D printers and will ensure that your creation is ready for printing. And there you have it. In just a few simple steps, you've learned how to personalize your tanks with your faction's logo on the vehicle identification plates. It's a fantastic way to add that extra touch of immersion to your tabletop battles. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial, and I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out. Happy customizing, and may your battles be epic!